Ben Hardy here and today we're looking at the all-new 2018 Chevrolet Corvette. This particular one is in the Stingray trim with the manual transmission, but let's just get right into it. Here we have Chevy 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 that is routed through a 7-speed manual transmission. You can also get an 8-speed automatic transmission. This puts out 455 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. In terms of fuel economy numbers, you can get up to 16 around town and then 25 on the interstate. And then to kind of finish the tour up front, you got these nice little LED lights and everything up front with this really aggressive you know, front end splitter looking thing. And you actually don't have to get this silver band option, then you can take that out if you don't like that option on it. But yeah, it definitely has this really nice modern and aggressive looking front end to it. This particular one has these nice uh, chrome wheels for the front and the back with the red brake calipers as well so it kind of gives it this really nice sporty look and it's got those massive brakes to stop this car super quick and if you look in the back here to open up the trunk all you got to do is hold the key fob and then it'll pop right up and it's this gigantic hatch you get tons of storage capacity here you can actually put the uh, t-top that this car has in the trunk back here and then you can still store extra stuff as well on top of that and so it's definitely a really nice place for me it's got tons of storage space especially for two people and then to finish up back you got these nice led lights and then you got that quad exhaust out back which looks super sweet and everything and it makes this car extremely loud with that 6.2 liter v8 Quickly another nice touch I like. I like these kind of louver things on the side, but to open up the car, all you can do is stick your hand back here and the Corvette will open right up. You got your seat controls on the side, your window controls. This is to open up the door, memory seat function, the lock and unlock and everything. And then step and height's gonna be really low. So to get in, you just kind of gotta get yourself in the car. And this particular one has this nice Alcantara steering wheel on it. You got all your controls for the cruise control and everything, the uh, presets, volume control for the radio, this for the uh, center screen and all that. You have your controls for the mirrors and everything, the lights and all that. And then your heated and ventilated seat controls, your analog controls for the climate and everything. You get a little 12 volt there, cup holders, the shifter for that seven speed manual transmission. The drive mode selector here, which we'll go over in a minute. The parking brake. And then if we pop under here, you get a little bit of console space with a, another 12 volt right there. And then these seats kind of have this nice Alcantara backing with the kind of like carbon fiber trim on the back and everything. And they're nicely bolstered. And then if we open up the glove box here, it'll pop right up and it's got quite a bit of space. And something that I really like is Press this button and the screen actually pops back and you get storage back here, which is really nice. But to start up the car, all you gotta do is in the manual, push the clutch in, and then you gotta come over here and push the push start button. And then it'll start right up. Since this is a manual, you do get the rev match function on it. And you do get that center screen, which you can control, you can scroll through all of the info and everything on it so you can make this little center screen show any bit of information that you could ever want it to show and then like i said there's a drive mode selector so you can go through the different drive modes you got the touring that we're in right now which is going to have soft suspension it's going to you know be um the throttle response is going to be a little bit dulled and then you go into the sport and it actually will open up a little bit of a valve in the back to make it the exhaust a little bit louder and then you can switch it over into track, which I would recommend using on roads. It kind of turns off a little bit of the computers and everything. And um, you actually can fully turn off the electronic stability control right there. And then you do get that weather mode for, you know, when it's not so good weather and everything outside. And then the eco mode, which I don't imagine any Corvette user is going to be <laughs> using, but they have it nonetheless to get better fuel economy. And then last but not least, you do have the T-top here which you can remove so if you don't get the full and convertible you can still kind of get like a convertible function and you have the little things to you just pop you can pop these all out and then you can easily remove this and put this in the trunk just like i said Corvette and 
like I said, this has that seven speed manual transmission, which honestly would be my transmission of choice if I were to be getting this vehicle. You know, I the new automatics and everything, they're super great. They shift a lot quicker than the manuals. You know, they, they're, you know, they put up faster lap times and everything, but I just don't think that anything could meet or could beat, I should say, anything, I don't think anything could beat a manual transmission just because of the feel that it gives you and everything, the connection that it kind of gives you with the car and all that. Um, one touch that I love, I love this Alcantara steering wheel and I love these seats. They bolster you really, really well, actually. And so it just holds you in place really well and it feels really sporty. You, I mean, you feel super low to the ground and everything because you are. Yeah, Stingray, it's not like the Grand Sport or anything special like that. It's not any, you know, this is the car that most people are going to be getting if they do get the Corvette. And so this is kind of that, um, you know, since this is the most common trim, I think this is the one that, you know, most people are interested in looking at. And it, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it may not be as quick as the Z06 in a straight line or around a track and same with the Grand Sport, but it definitely holds its own. It's an incredible, you know, sports car and muscle car as well. Um, and something that when we were looking at the tachometer, I forgot to mention, it is a digital display that you saw, but what's really neat is it shows the red line as the car is warming up. So as the car gets warmer and warmer, the red line stretches out further and further if that makes sense, so that it showed based on how warm the engine is, that shows how far you should go with the red line and everything, which is super neat. And then I had like I have it in the touring mode right now. It's super smooth um, driving, like it drives super smooth. I mean, you don't have to give up anything. It doesn't. It's not riding really harsh or anything like a sports car, but it's. I mean, it, it, the ride quality on it's super smooth in the touring mode, and it, it's got more than enough power. I'm gonna take it on the interstate, and the roads are you know pretty wet right now, so we're not gonna you know, do any crazy acceleration. And I mean, everyone knows that this car is going to be really quick. You know, that's really obvious. And I did put it over into the sport setting. So throttle response is going to be a little bit tighter. We can get a little bit of an acceleration. And I mean, like I said, everyone, everyone knows this is going to be super quick. I mean, it's got 455 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Of course, it's going to be, you know, quick in a straight line and everything. This car weighs you know, only like about, I think, 33, 3,400 pounds. wise is you know it's obviously it's a you know it's a fantastic car I mean tons of people get these and for good reason it's a lot of people's dream car and you know it's definitely one of those cars that's at the top of my list and so I would definitely say that you know for the amount of money that you know you put in one of these I mean I think the base price on them is you know somewhere in the 50s and I mean this particular body style you can pick up you know pre-owned ones for really decent prices as well and so for the amount of money that this car is and the amount of performance that you get and everything the sounds the sights everything I mean it's a I mean it's a performance bargain and you know everyone knows that everyone loves the everyone loves the Corvettes and everything and so if you're in the market for you know a sports car and you would have just incredible performance just completely blow everyone else out of the water this would be a really good route to you know, go and everything and not have to, you know, break, break the bank because I mean, the most experienced, the, the most expensive variant on this, you know, that right now the Z06 and now for 2018, they have the ZR1, you know, I mean, those are 
breaking six figures. But I mean, when those cars have, you know, better performance than a lot of supercars and everything that cost, you know, two, three, four times as much money, then yeah, these definitely, these definitely are a performance bargain. And there we have it, everyone, the all new 2018 Chevy Corvette. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. Comment down below what you thought, and I will see all of you in that next video.